Good evening and welcome to KILI Storytelling Hour. My name is Brian Charging Cloud, and I come up here on Wednesdays from 5 to 6 and uh, I bring you a story, a Kitomi, or Warskate, or Ihani Woyate. And education, and I always touch on the Lakota language. And uh, this evening I'm up here with, uh, I will say, Toska, Tim, and he will introduce himself. And uh, we have one story, and we have some announcements, and uh, uh, I will open up the computer and we'll talk about a meeting. So, Tim? Oh, man, okay, uh, Brian, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, we chat we chat the you was the taco Woyak Sabakil Etu Kunya Kam Kukimata uh Aftakil uh Hong Kayuntila Pilama Yapla. We are uh, first we'll do the announcements and maybe we'll uh talk about it. Uh we're, we are planning a meeting at Mundedni District School, and that's where uh, I work, and that's where Tim always comes and helps out. And uh, uh, the flyer, I have a flyer up here. And before I do that, uh, I always want to thank you for listening, all you listeners out there. Thank you for listening to Kili and also storytelling of and uh, I always remember two two gentlemen and that's Charlie up in Martin and uh, Tom in Pine Ridge if you guys are listening uh, and also all the listeners uh, all over this country some people sometimes tell us that they listen in Germany, Austria. So welcome to Kili Radio. And if you're on the road this evening, it's a nice, cool evening. Uh, summer is uh, one more week of summer, I believe. I didn't check the calendar, but uh, I believe next week, uh, the fall Lakota, we call it Pitayete, fall. In English language, it's uh, fall. So we'll probably talk about that too. But uh, uh, first, uh, getting back to this uh, meeting at uh, at Wanitni. Uh, in the last year and year before, uh, we have culture nights. And, uh, one thing that uh, that we always wanted to do was uh, bring the community to these uh, culture nights and uh, meet other people, and then uh, and, and then the parents to to really get involved. Come and visit the school. We have a new. Uh, uh, all the school is. Uh, really nice. It's, uh, every year it's like that. Uh, children coming and uh, like this morning they all came in and they were all happy. Uh, and then we, our principal uh, this year is uh, Toja Ellis. She is doing a great job. Uh, everything uh, looks clean, bright, and uh, we 
we're starting a great year. Ten is still pretty good. Yeah. Ten, uh, when I staff here at the top job, you have to like hot up, silly to when we travel like an outside. Maybe if it looks like it's a hand of that, it's probably, uh, uh, it's going to lead off to a very good school year this year. I can I can see that by uh, just by knowing that our most of our teachers are Lakota. I'm not prejudiced or anything, but um, I feel that with uh, Lakota teachers and uh, all their uh, all their experience and their teaching skills or whatever, different teaching skills and communication skills or whatever. I think it's going to be a very good school year at uh, WKD and probably elsewhere. And uh, I hope everybody keep up the good work and put a little bit more into it. And I know it's going to be a very good school year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> this uh, so this meeting uh, is. Uh, we're going to be working uh, with, and I think they came and visited our, our principal. And last night uh, we uh, we had a uh, real quick meeting with uh, one of the representatives from uh, Kawachi Ohokila, taking care of the whole self. And this organization is... Uh, Funded by SAMHSA, and SAMHSA uh, stands for Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. And uh, uh, we, we, we both want to get involved and uh, really work together and uh, work on the health of the community, uh, especially our young people and our children, because uh, today, as uh, uh, you, you, you hear about it, there's a lot of different things going on, and uh, things that are not really good for uh, young people, even for adults. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh -huh. Lechanksa, <laughs> 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 Chone, uh, oh, 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 Sammy Chaha, 
semeni nešto škala kao te, no to on vičašao, no to on vičahčala, ja. Ove mi mela kile eki honi. Ove, ona he čankuti, ja, i nupa, pa to on se nalibo ovela kile. Na kile le, le, na he to mi niče, he ta he, a ke he jih čamaka, he četu. Čelo mi niče kile le čanku nupa, ma sapi, ma šake api. Čele sape gle čanku, ki je lila ovena ovoma nevašte. Ona šake le iz uvečnu šetje ovenašna. Ova je šovena meni, a ta lila tako vaštešte ovalak. Ova je. Čele. Ova je čad na kumu ovenaš vatošna. Ova je lajko je kje. Čele, one need district school, one need district, 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 Le omeniče ma moha kte, le ojate voječo, ja. Ča le voječo, le nači in lakota voječo, tako o tom. El tako lila o tom. Hoš le hoška laka, ki čarab ča, le mija, reš nači avičar doma, ja. Ava le troš leš, mija ma ča nupa hege le vičo hratono krajke. Vajna, vajna je čudna koga naš in o to naš na tvojo, o to naš je čudna iš, na tvojo naš je vojaki. Vajna, vajna je vamo spet. Vajna, na koči je hani vič vojaka, to je ko. Če li li ljavo, in vičoh anke gledam tako i čara v kihi, vaja še hana ke, in o to naš na iš, Ganaš ne preza. Tako on leče dvojih čem kaham na divom vlakam na... Ganaš on kišne lo mjaka in te... Le... Le... A ja te voje čem ki le... Le... Čava pe riwi ki le... September ki le... Čava pe riwi e... O he... Tvoni seke... O he vi ktem na num sam nupa... Mozaš kaško zapta. September 22nd at 5 p.m. At Wendini District School. Lakota Studies Room. You are nichoke. Tua o kike. Wanach we are nish. 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 Vanaš je ta vojč, moj, ta, i čar, vanaš na, vanaš vi johira ta, konečno. Ko je čuha na kojero le, i le, el to na vajao bena, i na na a te, na le vajao viča, ki ki je na. Le na, le, juha, tha, ki te, neš na kojero ta, kon, eo, ki te. Ale vůjím chyla hamhata. Ale vůjím chyla hamhata. Ale vůjím chyla hamhata. Alice. Helps. Ale vůjím chyla hamhata. 867 4350. Ale vůjím chyla. September 22nd. 5 p.m. And there will be a meal too. Chyla zda ní vůjím meal. Ale vůjím chyla hamhata. Tako nije to. 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 Iska... Juge je skakil... Ona... Parents na... Teachers ki hoh... I... Na kudaj u kikah li gafnice. I... Yes, Kakil, I, I like to uh, say something on uh, what Brian 
this uh, this flyer that the school that uh, that these two organizations put out had, and I stressfully like to ask um, all the young parents, you know, 20 years old to 30. I, I mean, every 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 uh, every family that has a kids going to school at uh, Chunk Bay Opie would we'd like to have um, everybody step up and um, take part in what has been offered by uh, all of these uh, groups and organizations because it's, 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 uh, it's very important that we start doctoring our own selves and uh, doctor and uh, setting our children right in, in the stages of life to come. And um, these are all stepping stones. They're very important to, to pick up, man. With all of this information, you know, it, it's very helpful to uh, um, learn, in, um, you know, a lot of things like uh, psychological stuff, like uh, self-control, uh, um, a lot of a lot of different things that that uh, you you we can all learn with our children, and we can all step up and um, take part in everything that has been offered to us. And it doesn't cost a dime. It doesn't cost anything at all. It's just just we just need some good listeners and um, get, uh, feel a new experience because it, it deals with spirituality. Self identity and a lot of other, a lot of other technical words that the Washitu use, and uh, it, it's something, it's something good, and, and there's gonna be a lot of fun. There's, it, it's gonna be, it's, it's something very. Uh, I'm looking forward to being part of it myself, as older I am. I, I enjoy being part of it, and. and um, it's whooping out to all its, uh, like, uh, give out a whooping out to, um, these names out here. Colleen Little Moon, Cedric Broken Nose, Eileen Janice, Lori Wilderwin Horse, um, Alberta Miller, Mary Jane Running Shell. You know, a lot of these people, uh, uh, are very quiet, um, <laughs> mature, uh, intellectual, smart people that uh, that you don't ever hear of them doing anything wrong or whatever. And, and to me, it's it, it looks like a great team. Now all we are, you how we are be. Now won't spend. Uh, uh, だけ Hetch Galactician, Le Naku, Le Chile, Le Slurs for Shitu War, Culture. Hey, Okis, Unlakhota, Lakholia Kile, Culture Kile. A hell Naku, Vanilla, Ivonga Lakahan, Manus, we yo hilla, Takun, Tua, Wayaki. Let us a 
maybe it'd be great if there was 40 people there, or 60 mm -hmm. people, but uh, it don't take many people to revitalize our way of life, mm -hmm. and that's it's just like the language. So we just wanted to announce this and. Uh, if you're listening in the Mendelssohn area, the Wendelin District area, uh, on Monday, September 22nd, try to come at 5 o'clock. And we're going to have a meal. And you can just listen. Uh, it's, it's everybody's meeting, it's not just one person or a few people. Yeah. It's your meeting. And it, it could be, you can touch on anything. And, and whatever we say there, we're not going to, it could stay there. You don't have to talk about anybody. But things like, Tim mentioned the word too, self-sufficient. Self-sufficiency. That one too. You know, someday, down the road, uh, we cannot be... Uh, always uh, dependent. Yeah. We, cannot, we need to be on our own. Uh, just do everything. Try to do everything yourself. And uh, You don't have to eat, like Tim said, you don't have to eat uh, ramen noodle every day. You don't have to do this <laughs> pizza every day. Yeah. But stay home and cook and maybe have a garden and make some corn, beets, whatever, onions. Be on your own. Yeah. The Iska, uh, the, the things that we ate a long time ago when we were in kids, little five, six, seven, eight, I mean, when we were small, um, it was like gravy, rice, deer meat, peasant, uh, things like that, fish and uh, vegetables. And um, I always tell my kids and a few other people here and there that as a little guy sitting there and I look in the darkness of the room mm -hmm. and I could see our grandfathers and our grandmas sitting there they were pretty much already 60, maybe 60, 70 years old at that time. And they lived long, long, very long, healthy lives. And they, 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 they had tobacco. They had, the tobacco wasn't very good, but the, the whole the point I'm getting at is they lived, they lived very long, healthy lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, you never heard of... Uh, Insulin. You never heard of uh, painkillers. You never heard of um, diabetes. You never heard of anything like that. It was just it, nothing was ever. It was, it, in other words, it was a healthy, healthy world, a healthy life that that they picked up from their parents, and then we as we as who we are today saw them continuously living a long life, you know, and to now, today, you know, it, uh, it's, I don't know, I, I, I personally don't go to eating too much chicken or pork or stuff like that, you know, because um, I never had it, had too much of that stuff growing up except for the school menu, so all in all, you know, it all comes down to to our um, paperwork where on cultural nights and this and that, things like cooking and all, everything, well, learning how to cook and eating the right things with your children, you know, gives, gives, gives us all a better, better, longer and healthier life. And uh, that's what our children will need, and our grandchildren will need. So, oh, this this is very important, and uh, I'm I'm 100% behind uh, this group 
Kawachi Uvokima. And uh, uh, I give them a pat on the back for stepping up and creating a creating a nice team there. So share all their uh, knowledge with us so we can uh, hand it down to our uh, Trakujas too. Tela Ibuluski. And also when the New District School to working with Tawachi Ohokila to for a betterment is that that's a good word for our young people. Healthy lifestyle. Uh, and if they walk that road, uh, good things happen. Uh-huh. And if you walk that other road, uh, it'll be a rocky road. Yeah. And sometimes that rocky road ends. And that's where that's when the way yeah. we don't want to see that. All, all, all in all, in, uh, in Probably in conclusion with everything that comes about through this meeting, maybe within the next half year, within the school year and after, is that our children will be healthy in a state of mind. And that's mm-hmm. that's what we're looking for. Yeah. We want to create a stable, clear mind that no negative, no tolerance of anything bad, in, bad influence, instigators, whatever. We don't want that to continue with our children so they can live a problem-free life. No alcohol, no drugs, no no gangs, no nothing. No, nothing affiliated with something that's going to injure or uh, uh, harm our children physically or emotionally. And that's, that's the main purpose. We need to create that um, atmosphere for them, and it starts from our homes. It starts from our own selves as parents. So uh, it's not a good expression involved in all of it all together. What's that? That's good. And uh, again, before I forget, uh, we want to thank Kitty Radio for uh, letting us come up here on Wednesdays to. Uh, do uh, storytelling and uh, also bring you announcements like this and also uh, maybe a uh, little bit on education and also always the Lakota language and I know uh, there's a lot of organizations uh, each reservation uh, whether it's Pine Ridge or whether it's uh, Rosebud or Eagle Butte, Crow Creek, Low Bruce, Sisseton, uh, all over. Uh, they, they, they have programs like this where they try to help, they help their people mm. to uh, uh, have a good, uh, healthy, and strong life. Mm. Uh, and we are still proud people. I was reading that, the, I mentioned that one, I was going to bring it, but uh, uh, it's, uh, maybe next time, someday we will bring that, and talk about it. And, uh, and uh, just, I was just uh, look at what, the, uh, what kind of road we came through, and we are still here, and we're still proud, and we are still strong. And we are still helping our children. And also this school, uh, every school on this reservation, they're all doing uh, uh, projects like this mm. to uh, help their children, to get their parents involved, to get the, the community people involved. And sometimes... Uh, uh, when you put people into groups, then they become, uh, they don't work together. They become, uh, well, you're not from here, uh, I'm from here, like that. But if you really look at it, it's all 
one. Should be like that. Mm-hmm. We're all connected. We're all equipped. So stay healthy, stay warm, and always look up and be proud. Mm. I like. Uh, I like to. Uh, while I have this, before the show closes, I like to. Uh, Welcome all the new teachers that are that come into our um, schools across the reservation and elsewhere. Uh, we welcome you to Lakota Country, and I know uh, some of you are uh, first year teaching or whatever. Um, we'd like to invite you all to uh, look forward to uh, a better atmosphere of uh, education within our school systems and um, zero tolerance from anything at all and um, let's make this a good one for our, our, our children and grandchildren. Guys like um, Brian here and there's there's a lot of guys out there, all of you. Dwala Kotya Mitsonia Yokpia Nakapina Monspe Nichincha kwa owe cha ka pili hena itkhun itkhun chi pha pina chwi glas ka ska pa po la ta ya cha no pelo and then uh, I want to say uh, if we always uh, this could be a, a little this is uh, a story about the Lakota language and uh, I I uh, uh, I was looking through some notes, and, uh, and uh, this was in one of my notes. And uh, it's going to be a short one. And uh, it, uh, I was talking about the Lakota language and why uh, why uh, it's so hard. And uh, today I was talking to the um, fourth graders. And, uh, and uh, I was telling them that when you were in kindergarten, we started the Lakota language project right here at the Indian District School, and we called it Immersion. Mm-hmm. Our, and uh, now they're fourth graders, <coughs> and uh, none of them can, are. You cannot sit there and talk Lakota, mm. but they know a lot of words, mm. like <clears throat> they know all the wor- wor- pe- the things that we talk about, just maybe one word, they remember one word. Mm. Uh, like, it seems like, like we, inside that room, uh, the most common words are the only ones that they remember. And then when they leave that room, when they leave that school, then all they hear is the English language. Like you and I, our language is Lakota. That's uh-huh. our, our number one language. And then our second language would be the English language. Mm-hmm. But for them, it's, it's, it's the other way around. Maybe their number one language now is English. And then when they come to school, some of them, or maybe a lot of them, the only time they hear Lakota will be at school. So if you can, and we always say this, uh, um, the ones that are successful are, they have a lot of uh, Lakota speakers at home successful Lakota projects. So uh, today we have a lot of uh, our children that they know the everyday, some of the everyday language like Yota, Kainaji Yota, Minatka Chelo, Tukabla Chelo, Tokyalahu. But uh, they won't be able to, because Lakota language is really uh, hard. Because when it, even you get into the uh, 
uh, like a mini, like that. Heavy <laughs> that which is, that's uh, uh, so. The reason for that is uh, that when they go home, nobody talks Lakot. And then we have, when we first begin to teach this Lakota language, when we first begin to realize what is happening, and that's maybe 40, 40 some years back, and we started teaching bilingual then. Mm-hmm. Uh, they come in and will say, okay, this. Oyate uh, uh, means people, uh, like that. Mm-hmm. And we don't teach them the, to talk, or the dialogue, to call it. So then, so now, uh, 40 some years later, we're still not making. Uh, I know there's Lakota speakers out there. Mm-hmm. There's some out there that can speak Lakota. And right now we have some schools. We have a, 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 a we call it child care school in Ogallala. Mm-hmm. Uh, Baha is running that. And, uh, that's what we need. We need to really start from, uh, from the young people. And now I came down this far. I came. And, uh, I know that it's going to take. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, it's hard. Hey, uh for a lot of uh, for a lot of the younger parents are, that are, can probably say a few Indian words you know always always repeat repeat those words to your kids in the morning uh, and tell them what it means and whatever it, whatever you know pass it on to 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 your children in the mornings and, and it's a lot of, it's it makes getting ready for school uh, interesting it's uh, like uh, I mean 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 I Mm. And also, like uh, you mentioned, uh, the uh, um, Lakota teachers, I think. And uh, right now, uh, we need to train more Lakota, young Lakota teachers uh-huh. that are, are like uh, uh, that. Uh, that go like uh, maybe from OLC, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Saint yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. There, there are there are a lot of uh, people that are graduating, but sometimes you don't see them at schools. Uh, I don't know where they are, but we do need to train a lot of them. Each one will have a different uh, uh, way of teaching, but as long as you. Are, are especially people that are Lakota speakers mm. that have that can teach Lakota. Mm. That'd be great. So maybe if uh, you come with me again next week, I will uh, I'm gonna save my uh, story. Mm. And uh, before we leave, I want to thank all of you listeners out there. Uh, have a great uh, weekend. Uh, I think there's a uh, Wachipi at uh, Below Oak. Huh. And, uh, so yesterday, we, I heard that uh, Below Oak Pawa today is uh, Kili. Huh. Kili Kapala. Chai chai. If you're on the road, drive careful and. Uh, Thank you for listening. Mm. Well, I'd like to, uh, I always uh, remember the kindergarten guys, first year students, and uh, I'd like to say hello to all you little ones and Manderson, uh, Timmy, your boys out to uh, Pepper Creek, and everybody at 
Betty Lou's house in Madison, and I don't know if I call it a copy. I say, yeah. You just know, let's see, when you were talking about the one copy, and boy, my God, and I used to go, which only I was still, I have to ask you to go to the one copy. So, this is how I kept the drama. I thought it was too jabo. But then remember, don't forget the Oyate voyage from at uh, Mundane District School, Monday, September 22nd, at 5 o'clock. There's going to be a meal. Everybody is welcome. Bring ideas, cultural activities, presentation, parent-teacher involvement. And for more information, call Mundane District School, 867-4350. It's going to be a fun time, and it's um, it's, it's it's very interesting, and um, come and learn something new. It'll, it'll really refresh your memory, and it's good for you. It's healthy for your state of mind as well as the body. So we want to say thank you to Lloyd. Watch the yellow, Lloyd. Hello, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you.